Assalamualaikum and hi to everyone. My name is Nur Ashikin binti Wahab. I am from University Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia France Institute, MFI. And today's title presentation is Plant Disease and Nutrient Deficiency Identification Using Convolutional Neural Network. So today's outline presentation, first is introduction, second is literature review, research methodology, expected outcomes, and conclusion. The farmers still using traditional method to examine the disease and healthy plant. But uh, using the visual examination is not accurate because uh, when the plant disease show the symptoms, there is only possible when the major damage has been done. This is, uh, this make the, all the treatment that have been done to the plant is useless and wasting time. This is type of plant disease, which is downy mildew, lead blight, mosaic, leaf curl, leaf curl and rust. This kind of plant disease, we can see the changes on the leaf. We have the spot, the shape of the leaf will be curled. This all can be visualized by our eyes and visualized by the image. So this is why we are using CNN because CNN is good in image processing. This is uh, the nutrient deficiencies and we can see the difference between nutrient deficiencies and um, disease and the difference on the nutrient deficiency is the color of the leaf will change. If the leaf is lack of carbon dioxide, we can see the color will be yellowish or Phosphate, we can see the color will be darker than the normal green leaf. So, the difference here we can see uh, and we can group by nutrient deficiency and plant disease in our database. So, the problem statement is crop management in Malaysia is still largely rely on human inspection using eyes and hands to identify sick and unhealthy plants. This method is tedious, inefficient, and time-consuming. So, Convolutional Neural Network CNN has higher performance for image-based learning. However, the number of disease detected are limited and nutrient deficient detection is lower than precedent. The question from my research is how to conduct the experiment in order to capture leaf image of several healthy and sick plants. Second is how to implement CNN in order to differentiate plant disease and nutrient deficiency. And lastly is how to detect plant disease using CNN techniques. The objective is to build image database of healthy plant and sick plant Second is to differentiate image feature map of plant disease and nutrient deficiency. Lastly is to compare the accuracy of plant disease detection using CNN's technique. So this is the table uh, from the past study. I have been uh, put the information in this table which is used all this uh, process use CNN technique and have a high accuracy in this training but the number of disease still lack uh, which is below than 10. This is top 5 CNN error rate. Uh, this result get from the competition from ImageNet Lash Scale Visual Recognition Challenge 1998 to 2015. So here we can see ResNet have the first place of 
error rate which is 3.6% compared to others ResNet have the lowest error rate so uh, I will use ResNet to compare with others in and technique and see the accuracy of the ResNet so this is the research methodology first is research background and gap analysis experiment setup and then we will build image database of uh, leaf image pre-processing feature extraction and then we will analysis the result optimization of features parameter and lastly we will analyze the result again so this is the methodology of experimental setup so uh, we are using high grow pot starter kit to plant the chili plant the chili plant we are use uh, is a sapling bought from the nursery at the age two to three months so the sapling will be plant in the high grow pot using cocoa peat and two type of fertilizer there are four there are four chili plants will be plant because uh, we need for four different condition of uh, plant which label is a b c d which is first plant is a will be located in the condition of enough sunlight enough water and enough fertilizer b c and d will be lack of one of water uh, c lack of sunlight d lack of fertilizer so the observation of the process will be recorded every day three times every day uh, morning afternoon and evening because uh, we want to know the process and the changes of the plant uh, of the chili plant and then we will use as the database so this is the process after we got the database we use the image uh, and then undergo feature extraction and classification in cnn and then the result will become out whether the plant is healthy or sick why we are choosing resnet this is because resnet can enhance the performance of the deeper layer this is because ResNet have a residual neural network which is can stack from the previous layer to the output layers using the convolutional blocks. Compared to VGGNet, there are, are no residual network which is can stack like ResNet because VGG uh, will undergo layer by layer to train the network. If the deeper network used in the VGG, they will have a problem on saturation of the results and the accuracy will not be accurate as we are using ResNet. So we will try to compare ResNet with other CNN's technique in order to know the accuracy of ResNet. So the expected outcome from this research is to build an image database of healthy plant and sick plant, uh, chili leaf is built, and then we want to different image feature map for plant disease and nutrient deficiency. Compare the result or best performance between CNN technique. So the, this is the result that I, I use in MATLAB. This is from ResNet, ResNet 50. Our first picture is first convolutional layer weight. And this is the confusion matrix for training the image. And the result is come out as the sick leaf image uh, with the percentage of 99%. So this is the result for ResNet 50. 
and this is the accuracy loss graph uh, we can see along with the iteration we can see the accuracy is increased and then uh, keep on increase until the final uh, for the loss graph we can see the loss is reduced until the final and uh, this make the loss in this training is reduced so we can see the result for validation accuracy here is 100 percent and we are compared to google net google net also have increase in accuracy uh, by the iteration and uh, reduce the loss uh, by the time but we can see the result is lower than ResNet, which is ResNet is 100% and this Google Net we got 99.4% and this is the comparison table which is the size of mini batch use in this in this training same as 10 we use both for 10 min size of mini batch and then the epoch is 11 but we have different time elapsed which is resnet 50 we have 14 minutes and google net 3 minutes iteration we have same value for 29 and the validation accuracy we can see resnet have 100 percent accurate Google Net have 99.4%. So based on the past previous study, they said that ResNet have higher accuracy and are less error. So we can see if compared to Google Net, ResNet have the higher accuracy compared to Google Net. And the conclusion for this research is detect disease and nutrient deficiency in plant effectively and this method will be save money and reducing labor's burden next is plant disease and nutrient deficiency does not show symptoms at the early stage so uh, it will lead to the major damage and the farmers will waste the fruits or time to treat the damaged plant. So this research work proposed is uh, on application of modern technology based on CNN algorithm agriculture technologies. So this is the reference list that I use in this slide uh, which is from the past study. There are 10 reference that I use so that's all for me thank you